Joseph Palmer. I got a new one for you guys today. A lot of you probably don't know anything about this guy, and you're going to love this story. Trust me. He is both a hero and a legend. Welcome on in, guys. My name is Dan C. Bearded. For anybody new, we've had some new people join the channel lately. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Go back, check out all the old videos. Stay up to date with the current videos. This is a series that is called 12 Days of Beardsmiths. This is day 10. Can you believe it, you guys? We're on double digits already. Today, we're going to talk a real briefly about heroes and legends, give you a history lesson on Joseph Palmer, talk about who won the giveaway from yesterday, and then break down the rules for the giveaway today. Enjoy it while we got it, guys. This is almost coming to a wrap for the 12 Days of Beardsmiths. Company, one more time through for Heroes and Legends Trading Company. As always, your affiliate discount is Dancy Bearded, all caps for them. That will be forever, so make sure you guys use that on your purchases. This is an amazing company with huge goals and dreams. They don't want to just take over the beard world. They don't want to just take over the body world. They want to do candles. They want to do restaurants and everything else in between. Yes, huge, huge goals. And if there's anybody that's going to do it, this veteran-owned, family-concentrated company is going to be the one. Now, see my shirt here? Talk about a hero and a legend, Abraham Lincoln, the man, the president, right, with the beard there. Love this shirt. It's from another company, but still fits with the heroes and legends profile that we have going on. So, guys, give these unique scents, beautiful carrier blend a look, and they're dropping that beard butter very, very soon. Stay tuned for it. Beard of the day. This is where I hit you guys with a quick video on the history of a bearded man. You can grab your kids, grab your wife, bring your neighbors over. This is always a family-friendly channel here, and who knows? Maybe they'll find this interesting and gain some knowledge. I guarantee they do not know who Joseph Palmer is. Maybe the bearded guys out there have heard of him, but nobody else. That's my promise. And for this series, guys, I pick bearded men that I think have really interesting and captivating stories. There are some amazing bearded people throughout history, but maybe just don't have the crazy stories or interesting things that are going to get you hooked in for seven or eight minutes. And I've researched them all. Trust me. Maybe I'll open this up as a random series I do throughout the year if there's enough want and demand for that. But let's get to our story today. Joseph Palmer. First off, he was a farmer out of Massachusetts, and he was actually a veteran in the U.S. He fought in one of my favorite wars, the War of 1812, which is a fascinating war. I actually am lucky and get to teach about that war to my eighth graders, and I could go in so much more detail in it, but I do want to give you a quick little snippet from that war, and then we'll come back to Joseph Palmer. Well, the War of 1812, a large portion of it was fought in the Great Lakes region where I'm from in Michigan, and they actually had full naval battles in the Great Lakes which is so crazy because we think of it as a vacation spot, beautiful fresh water today. You don't think of Navy ships battling, but the U.S. and the British fought, especially on Lake Erie. Now, my favorite story is a guy named Oliver Hazard Perry. He was a leader in the U.S. Navy and had his own ship. Well, his ship went down in, the, in a battle on Lake Erie. He dove off of the ship, got into a rowboat, went over to another American ship and was like, hey, Get out of the way. I got this. Let me take over. He makes the entire British naval fleet surrender, and some even flee up to Canada. Man, is that cool. Dives off of his boat, gets into another boat, takes over, and absolutely dominates. Super cool. This is the war. Fast forward a lot of amazing stories. The British, the Canadians, kind of, it was like kind of Canada then, and the Native Americans joined together. They burned the American White House down. We get a peace treaty. There's no winner, no loser, no land gained, but the U.S. proved that they could hold their ground, that the American Revolution was not a fluke. So this was a really important war that we usually don't talk a lot about in America. All right, sorry for the little tangent there. Back to it. Joseph Palmer, farmer. Well, what was really unique about this farmer is he decided to grow his beard out really long. He had some real religious influences there, but this came at a time period where beards were not popular. They were actually highly frowned upon unless you were of the Jewish religion. So he got made fun of and harassed relentlessly about this beard. He even had a minister that came up to him and asked him and said, why don't you shave that beard off and stop looking like the devil? 
Well, Palmer had a response for him, and I'm going to put it kind of more in modern terms. The exact terms are a little bit outdated. So he essentially said, well, I've never really seen the devil rocking a beard, but that guy named Jesus, yeah, he had one kind of similar to this. Ooh, mic drop. Well, fast forward a little bit. Palmer is randomly one day jumped by four men who have scissors and razors that are trying to cut his beard off. This is how much people were offended by his beard back then. Well, Palmer happened to be a tough dude. He fought off all four of them, had a jackknife in his pocket, and stabbed two of them in the leg. Well, he gets charged with assault. Yes, four men jumped him. He protected himself and he got charged with assault, mainly for having a beard. And the charge is a $10 charge and then they add on some fees and then they also give him a $700 bond or bail. Well, he says, no, I'm not paying any of that. I did nothing wrong. So he's sentenced to prison, not jail, but prison. In prison, he is treated horribly. He is beaten by the guards. He is fed very little. He is ridiculed for his beard and has a really horrible time. He documents this all really well with letters and diaries, so we know everything. He even at one point took all of the food he was given one day and sent it out to show people how little he was getting. It was pretty amazing what he was able to do from prison. Well, time went on and he's actually been in prison for 15 months. We're approaching a year and a half. 15 months in prison for an assault where he was just defending himself, aka for his beard. Well, the courts start to kind of get some pressure because his letters are getting out there and people are saying that this punishment did not fit the crime, which is true. So judges came in and they're like, hey man, we'll waive the bond, we'll waive the fees, just pay the $10 and admit you did it. And he said, no, I'm not going to pay anything. I did nothing wrong. I'm going to fight for my rights to be myself, to defend myself and all of the above. Well, it took his mom writing a letter and the judge brought it to him and was like, dude, your mom wants to see you. She doesn't like hearing about this stuff. Will you just pay the fine? And he pays it and gets out. When Joseph Palmer gets out of prison, he actually goes on to become an amazing man and fought for human rights. First thing is he really got on board with the jail reform. I get to teach about the jail reform with Dorothea Dix, especially back then jails were used really to house the mentally ill. He also hooked up with William Lloyd Garrison and they made a big reform push to change the way prisons were set up in our country forever. He also then linked up with people like Frederick Douglass and was an abolitionist and fought for African American rights, trying to get rid of slavery and did some great things for humanity. And then the last thing, the cherry on top, when he passed away, Way of old age and natural causes he left a gravestone that actually I'll put a picture up has his picture of his face and his beautiful beard and essentially puts the spark nose version of his life and says I was persecuted for my beard and I stood up for what was right yeah you'd never heard of this dude think about this story and what he was able to do by the time he passed away beards were popular and a lot of people attribute that to his story and to his fight that is pretty cool. I try to do that on a small scale today. I've changed the culture of beards at my work as the mayor talks about all the time on Wednesday nights for Majorly Bearded and I'm trying to do that beyond. I want to make something like this, a long presentable beard, okay in any situation, in any workplace and Joseph Palmer is 100% an inspiration for that. Beautiful bearded man and story from history. Winner, winner, wear your beard how you want dinner. Now we're going to announce the winner from Fables giveaway yesterday. You just need to get a hold of me with your name, your scent choice, and your address. Dan C. Bearded on Instagram, preferred, or Dan underscore command at yahoo.com on email. Let that dice, that random YouTube generator roll. As long as you follow the rules, you're in. It is yours, unopened, shipped to you for free. Ba 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 ba. Bam. Congratulations, get a hold of me. Nothing quite like seeing your name on those winnings. I know I've been there, it's a special feeling. So congratulations and thank you Fable for everything that you do. Today's giveaway is for Heroes and Legends. Your combo, your choice of scent, oh, so cool. Question to leave you guys with first, the rules, right? Good karma, hit that thumbs up. I love the thumbs up ratios on these videos. You guys are amazing. Second is you do need to be a subscriber to this channel. That is important, so I will check there. Third, leave a comment down below. We are coming up to the end of 2019. I wanna know your beard highlight of the year. 
Did you get a super cool compliment when you went to the store from a bearded guy? Did a YouTuber comment on your response or your Instagram page and tell you your beard was beautiful? Did your wife finally accept your beard and is now obsessed with it? Or did you just for yourself learn to enjoy and take care of yourself and your beard? Your bearded highlight, I know you have so many other amazing things. You've had children, you've gotten married, you've had promotions but I wanna know your beard highlight of 2019. This is gonna be fun. Read the comments and encourage each other with some responses. So thank you guys, Dan C. Bearded, stay bearded and stay positive.